and welcome to my channel which is complementary economics and today's class it's about short term cost so when we are going to talk about cost what exactly the cost is so before talking about this concept let me brief you what exactly the cost the cost is nothing but the expenditure of what we are doing to produce any of the goods in the forms definitely when you are going to produce any of the good so it can be good or service you are going to invest a lot of money on it so you are going to spend some amount of money to produce any of the good or to purchase most probably for the raw materials electricity payments transportation bills uh, for the land labor capital organization so in all the way you are going to spend money so this money what you are spending to produce one good what money you are going to spend that will be called as cost the actual expenditure what we have made to produce any of the good that will be called as cost so now when we are talking about cost concepts the cost concepts can be classified into two different ways one short run cost and the one is the long run cost what is the difference between the short run cost and the long run cost in the short run you are going to spend money for the fixed factors and the variable factors also but in the long run money what you are going to spend that is only for variable costs so right now we have the short run cost so we have number of cost which is eight different costs we have that we going to discuss what exactly it is and what is the formula how we going to find out this so you have a table here i made all calculation i don't wanted you to take a lot of time to spend on this video so what i have done is i have already calculated it so i have kept only two to you know you units to calculate it to make you understand that's more than enough to understand the same way you can calculate these all two so now you have eight different concepts so let's talk about the first one is units the quantity what we are producing that can be considered as output so can you see here output the second one here you have tfc tfc is total fixed cost that will be called as total fixed cost that means the total cost the total expenditure what we are doing on the fixed factors that will be called as total fixed cost the money what we are spending on the fixed factors the fixed factor it can be land it can be capital it can be anything the things which we are considered as a fixed which is not going to change on that if you are going to spend money that will be called as fixed factor on that money of your spending that will be called as fixed cost that too we are going to consider total fixed cost in the form the second concept which is important that is tvc total variable cost for the variable factors money what we are spending the total cost for the variable cost that will be called as total variable cost for the variable factors we are spending money and the third one is total cost the total cost when it comes to we have to add both fixed cost and the variable cost if you going to add both only then it will be a total cost can you see here total cost so okay let me tell you how i'm going to talk about how we are going to find out uh, tfc first so i'm already done with three what is tfc tvc and tc let me tell you how exactly you going to find out tfc to find out tfc you have a formula which is tfc is equal to tc minus tvc the formula you have here the expansion you have here let me solve the problem you want to find out tfc for example if you want to find out what exactly the tfc is let me help you out by you really don't know what exactly it is clear so total fixed cost that means it's not at all going to change can you see 20 20 20 20 20 it is quite easy to identify definitely it should be 20 only but you have a different answer so you can go with a different way so in this row you have to see the total cost 
by 1, 18 by 2, 24 by 3, 29 by 4. So this way you are going to find out the exact answers. So now, so we are going to talk about the next one which is SAC, which is SAC, short run average cost. The next concept which is short run average cost. What is a short run average cost is all about? The short run average cost is going to talk about the simple explanation, the easiest one, which is per unit total cost. In case you can, so per unit average cost. That means easiestly we have to, if you want to carry out the easiest way, you have two formulas. So if you are going with SAC, the one is AFC plus ABC, the easiest one, which is AFC and ABC, total of this. Otherwise, you can go with one more formula, TC by Q. The both the formulas you can follow, but the easiest formula is this AFC by ABC. So let's see that now. SEC 10 plus 20, 30, 10 plus 9, 19, 6.67 plus 8, 14.67. So you can add this both. Okay, TFC and ABC, if you are going to add it, so you are going to get the answer for SAC, AFC plus ABC. So this is the way. For example, now let me do it. Uh, 10, which is the AFC plus SAC, I am going to find out 10 plus 9, which will be 19. So can you see? We got the answer. SAC is equal to 10 plus 9. This will be the answer. So next finally you have SMC. Short run marginal cost. What is short run marginal cost? That means in the short run, the extra additional cost which is added to produce extra unit. So that will be called short run marginal cost. For example, in any of the firm, if you want to produce more goods, so if you want to increase the output, so definitely you have to increase the input also. To produce the extra unit of output, the extra cost what you are bearing to invest the input, that will be called short run marginal cost. That will be called as short run marginal cost. So in this way, how are you going to find out this? To find out this, you have two formulas, two different formulas. One is change in TC by change in Q. So this is a lengthy one. I have already in the previous few of the classes, I have shown you how we are going to follow this method. But easiest formula I will go with, which is TC and minus TC and minus 1. So if you are going with, so TC, uh, SAC, so first of all, 30. So you will not have anything here, so we left it like this, sorry, you have to consider TC for that. To find out SFC, you have to consider TC, okay. So TC is here, which is 20, here you have 30, okay. 30, the, which is TCN, 20, which is 20, 20, 30 minus 20, it is 10. Now, by leaving this, we will consider this, 38 minus 30, 38 minus 30, it will be 8. Now we will consider this, 48 minus 38, it will be 6. Now we are going to consider these two, 49 minus 44, it will be 5. So this way, so now you got an a full idea how you are going to find out the short run cost and what are the short run costs you have. So if you are going to attend this question, so you have to go with few of the steps. First of all, you have to explain what is cost and then you have to explain what is short run and the long run cost. Then you have to go with the short run cost, what are the expansion of it, what are the formulas of it and how you are going to find out that. So it is not needed that you have to go with the sum wise only, directly if you are aware of the answers, for example now, 49 minus 44, it is quite you know easy to answer, so you know that it's a 5. No need to go with the formula directly, you can put answer so you can get it over. So this is a way how you are going to find short run cost, it is not cost, it is a cost. So you have 7 different kind of cost, TFC, TBC, TC, AFC, ABC, SAC and SFC. So you are going to find out, this is one of the 4 mark question, easiest also. So I hope you understood how you are going to solve it. Thank you so much. I'll meet you guys with the next 